And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black and go, 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 go. Hey, hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either get over or hopefully avoid your idiocy. Today's question comes from one of my favorite people on Snapchat. I'm not going to say who they are, but they know I'm talking about them. And the question is, and this is something pretty big, this is something that you guys have to deal with every single day, is how do I deal with assholes? There is really no way to avoid it. That would be the best thing to say. The best answer is just avoid them. How do you do that? They're everywhere. They're like ants. They're like flies. They're everywhere. They're in traffic. They're at work, in the grocery store, in your family, probably in your house, at least sometimes. And just to be honest, it's probably you too, at least sometimes. Let's be honest, okay? This is all about honesty here. Let's just put it on the table. You know you're an asshole sometimes too. I know I am. So how do you deal with assholes? Well, first thing, and I think this is the most important, is it all comes back to you, of course. Those of you that have been following this the last five weeks um, know that it really all comes down to you. What are you going to allow in? What do you let into your house? What are you letting in your castle walls? I firmly believe that nobody can make you angry if you don't give them the power to make you angry. You're the one that decides what to get angry at and what not to get angry at. You know those days where you don't get much sleep and you know the kids are crazy or something's late or you're not feeling well and you get mad over everything? The things that you're getting mad at aren't changing, but your perspective is because you either allow things in or you don't. You have a lot more control and a lot more power than I think that you think you do. So you need to utilize that. And, and dealing with assholes is, is a huge one because you know you're going to have to deal with them. I think the most effective thing to do, and there's assholes everywhere, and it's different. The asshole at the grocery store is different than the asshole at work. And the asshole in traffic is different than the asshole at your dinner table. They're, even though they're two totally different things because one is just a one and done. You know, the person cuts you off in traffic and they're gone. You never see them again. But the person that you have to have, you know, either dinner with every night, which hopefully is not the case, or the person that you have to have dinner with on holidays and dinners and birthdays and stuff, those people you have to deal with over and over again, but it's are are two different types, but you can still handle them the, the same way. And the way you handle an asshole is anticipation. I think that's the best way to do it because once you anticipate something, it can't bother you or it shouldn't bother you. It's like, hopefully we have some sports fans out there. When Colin Kaepernick first came into the league and he came in about halfway through the season, he, they used the triple option, the run and gun approach and people didn't know what the hell to do with it. Why? Because they couldn't anticipate it. And it was extremely effective that first season. Once you get the film on it, and once you can you know, watch and see how it breaks down and watch and see, you know, work on the strategies to deal with it, then the next time it's not as effective. So the run and gun went from highly effective to not very effective. And this is the same thing that you can use. It's the same thing that they use in the NFL for defenses for dealing with the run and gun. And if I'm not talking to sports fans, I'm sorry. But... It's the same approach that you can use to dealing with assholes because once you can anticipate it, once you know it, you can game plan for it. You go, okay, I'm going to deal with an asshole in whatever sense. If you have to deal with traffic in the mornings, you know that you're going to come across somebody that pisses you off at some point. Now it's up to you whether or not to really get pissed off at it because is it unusual to get irritated with somebody in the morning on the way to work in traffic? No, it probably happens every day because everybody's trying to go to work probably... 80% of those people aren't happy that they're having to get up early and go to work. And you're going to deal with people that are doing unsavory things. So it's your fault for getting mad at it. But when you anticipate it, 
you don't have to get mad at it anymore. If you're, if you, uh, maybe you don't sit in traffic, maybe you take the train, maybe you take the subway to work. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people going places they don't really want to go. There's a lot of people that are tired. You don't know what the person has dealt with like that day or that morning or they're dealing with that week. And you're going to deal with people that, that don't, they're not riding the way that you wish they would ride. So what are you going to do? You can anticipate that there's probably going to be a few people on there that do a little couple weird things. So then it's on you. I know something that I something for me that I deal with. No place has the ability to get me more irritated with people than Costco. People walk around Costco like they're in the store by themselves. They stop. They don't notice that they're blocking everybody from getting by. They they they're not paying attention to anything. And I don't know how these people function in the world, but this this is my issue. So I know when I walk through those front doors at Costco, I know that I'm going to deal with people that are going to irritate me. It's on me whether or not they irritate me. Because I go to Costco, I got to deal with it. I either deal with it or don't, you know, or don't go to Costco. I'm not going to walk around Costco pissed off all the time. So the anticipation of okay, I'm going to be dealing with assholes allows me to deal with allows me to deal with that. And it's the same thing when you're dealing with family members or people that you work with. There are, you know, people don't have the same values as you. People don't have the same outlook on things as you do, at least at that, you know, maybe for that particular moment in that particular time. And that's okay. That's what makes the world so interesting is different perspectives. We're all different pieces of the same puzzle. And some pieces just don't fit together. And that's okay because others do. So it's up to you to find the place where you fit and find how you can navigate the people that you have to deal with daily. You aren't, you're anticipating the fact that they're going to piss you off, whatever they are, lazy, stupid, um, irrational, emotional, whatever, whatever they are. You can anticipate that and then you can work around it because you are self-aware enough to know what they're doing to you so you can adjust what you how you're feeling and you can help kind of navigate through whatever it is that they're dealing with. After you do this, after you take take ownership of it because you're anticipating it and you can see it, after you're doing that, you're going to be amazed about how easy things are to deal with. If you know that Betty is going to have a freaking bitchy look on her face when you walk in in the morning and she's not going to say hi or not going to say good morning or whatever she's going to do, you can still give her a big smile. You can still like focus on you because the, the, a lot of the times people get irritated when you're dealing with assholes and they, they, you get mad. You're getting, mad. you're getting mad because they're not doing what you want them to do. Well, it's not, the world isn't here to cater to you. You're a little tiny piece in this really big world. And that's not saying in a, in a, in a negative way, don't take that as like a pessimistic way, but we're all, this is all, a, this is a, a big place and a lot of pieces, a lot of moving pieces. And you're not the most important piece and that's okay because you're, you worry about you and, and let everybody else worry, worry about themselves. They're not here to, to cater to you. But you know that. And when you walk out that door, you know that you're going to be dealing with, with people that, that do not have your best interest in mind. And that's okay because you know what? You don't have their best interest in mind either. Um, one great quote from Marcus Aurelius is, and this is how he, he said you should get up in the morning. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and I have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood and birth, but of the same mind and possessing the share of the divine. And so none of them can hurt me. What's he saying? You know you're going to come across these people, and you know you need to deal with it. You guys are all the same people. You may, you may not be the asshole today, but you could be tomorrow. You may not be the asshole yesterday, but you could be next week, depending on what you have going on. And you can expect walking out the door and, de and dealing with it. And then it's on you for how you react to it. You don't have to be sad about it. You don't have to get angry about it. You don't have to get frustrated about it because you know. You know it's out there and you know you're going to encounter it. So you can deal with it. I think the biggest thing to do and this is the one difference between the assholes that you deal with all the time and the assholes like the one-off assholes, the traffic, the Costco, those guys, 
or gals, um, the one strategy is if, if, you, if it's something you have to deal with frequently, don't let it build up. Because when you let it build up, it ruins your day. It'll ruin the time that even they're not around because you're thinking about them. You'll start gossiping. You may be mean. You take it home, assuming it's not, you know, the person at home that's the asshole. Then there's a whole different, different issue. But don't let, the, don't let it build up. Deal with it. If they're doing something that irritates you, say, hey, and you, you know, put it in a nice way because you, you don't want it to get worse. But don't let it build up. Either make a joke out of it to kind of lighten it up and kind of open the door to talking about it. Let them, maybe they don't even realize they're being an asshole. Or just come at it straight at them. But don't do the behind the back. Don't do the passive aggressive. Don't let the stuff build up because when it builds up, it just makes it worse for you. It makes it worse for the situation. It makes it worse for everybody. So that's the one difference. You anticipate it with everybody. Anticipate, you know who to anticipate it from at work. And you don't know who to anticipate it from with the one and with the one and dones, with the people in, in the subway, the people in traffic, the people at the grocery store, the people in line at the bank. But you can anticipate something. You can anticipate a rude, maybe a rude waitress or whatever. But but so you anticipate with both groups, but then you have to deal with it with the person that, you know, if it's your if it's your, hopefully it's not your boss because then you're in big trouble. But if it's like a, a, a secretary at work, if it's a coworker, if it's, you know, your parents, if it's your, your son or daughter, if it's your aunt and uncle, just deal with it directly. Don't hold it in because that's just going to make it worse for everybody. And, you, and we're trying to make this better. You're asking a question about dealing with assholes. It's anticipate and then deal with it. If you guys have any other questions about this, please feel free to hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, you can hit me in the comment section here. If you are listening to this on iTunes, please, uh, if you're enjoying the last, we are on episode 16. If you're enjoying the last 16 episodes, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Please leave a review. Same thing with YouTube. Subscribe. These are coming out three days a week, every week. If you're if you're into this, um, please subscribe. Please leave comments. Please share on Twitter and whatever social media you are on. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you on Wednesday. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go, go.